Alright folks, welcome back to Fire Emblem Awakening. I'm NBZ, and uh, last time was a very story-heavy episode. This time, we're just going to be ripping fools' throats out. Uh, so this is the lineup I've gone with. I've uh, dropped Maribel for the time being to bring in Vike, because I want to use him a little bit more. Uh, he has a hand axe, which he can throw through the air sometimes, uh, which we all know and love. Uh, and uh, everyone else is generally the same, but here's the thing we need to do before we even begin. Is we need to go into our inventory, uh, and we need to evolve a couple of units. So Gaius, who is a thief, he can either be a trickster, which is Anna's class, which is useful for uh, healing stuff and stuff, or an assassin. Uh, generally, when I go with Gaius, I like to make him an assassin. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to turn him in, into a bow-wielding badass, uh, and hopefully it'll work out. Gave him a worm slayer as well. Should probably be uh, throwing um, a bronze bow. I'm not even sure if I have a bronze bow kicking around. I might do. We'll have to see. But uh, there is his class change. And uh, some nice boost to go with it. Yeah, a plus one to his movement is it's very nice. Very helpful. Uh, let's have a quick check if we even have a... We have a glass bow we could take. That's useful. Um, doesn't look like we have any bronze bows in our possession. The glass bow we'll have to do for now as a, as a basics. Now, of course, Sumia, last time you all saw was doing terribly. Her strength was 9. I used a couple items to buff it, so she's at 14 now, which is, oh, I don't know, maybe respectable, but I, look, we're going to go in on her and we're going to see. Um, I, I did get a suggestion to make her a Dark Flyer uh, instead, and I would like to do that because of Gale Force, you all know, got to go with Gale Force, but then I basically need to retrain her from the beginning and, and use magic instead, so this is the real question here. Am I going to go on with the Falcon Knight or the Dark Flyer? I think... You know what? We're going to do it. I actually... I'm, I'm taking it all back. I gave her all those boosts to her, her strength, but you know what? I'm doing the Dark Flyer. And I think the reason is I already have Cordelia. And Cordelia, I probably want to take her down the other route through Falcon Knight. And... That probably... You know, it will mean I'll have to grind out levels later if I want to get Gale Force on the child. But, uh, to be quite frank, I don't know if I'm committed to doing all this fucking Gale Force shit with all the kid units anymore, because it's a lot of work on my end, and uh, you know what, I just want to play through this game, have fun while doing it, um, and that'll be great. Oh wait, Darkflyer does have, still have access to this shit. Why am I being afraid? No problems here. Uh, I just need to grab myself a spare... Spare spell book. Um, who has? I guess MBZ has a wind. Not really sure the wind is necessary. MBZ can have probably a better spell than that in her arsenal. Um, if I even have something kick around, I have a superior jolt. Superior jolt will be much useful. Or well, I mean, you know, it doesn't do the same effect as wind does. Um, I could take the L wind from Rickon and be a dick about it. That is a possibility. Let's be a dick about it. I'm sorry, Rickon. We'll come back to you. Rickon will show his head up eventually. Uh, and then finally, the last unit who we need to evolve is, of course, our good old buddy old pal, Longku, uh, who also should probably take another weapon, as I said last time. Um, the silver sword I was going to take. Actually, Erica's blade is a nice weapon to just have. So I'll just take Erica's blade. Uh, that'll do. And then let's master seal him up to the magical sword master. Of course, we can go assassin here, but Gaius is an assassin. Longku is born to be a sword master. So let's do it. Wherever I go, wherever I be, I will crit enemy. He's got two fucking swords on his side, by the way. Look at this man. What a champion. He's just dripping in style. Can't get off the style of him. Anyway, uh, we're close with a couple more units. Um, uh, Cordelia is the one, and then Vike is, of course, needs to be leveled up a bit more. Um, so, and of course, Naui and Pan have a different kind of path to tread because of their beastie forms. Um, and obviously, Don will get there eventually. So how about we, uh, we save it here? And uh, let us... Do I need to really set anything up here? Looks fine to me. Let's fight. What? What's that? A storm of crows? Gods, it's upon us! Hey! 
Car, car! Are you folks lost? Or perhaps you lost a cause? Ha ha! <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself. God's breath, I can't see anything through all these damn birds. Scoo, Scott, away with you. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? Costerophobic? <laughs> oh, I slay me. <sighs> Not if these risen do it first. This is no time for japes. Hide yourself, boy. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought you were all right. Turns out you're all for right. <laughs> I'd wish you good luck killing these monsters, but they're already dead. What? We are well aware. <laughs> the ravens wanted me to give you a message. Caw, 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 caw. Roughly translated, it means... Hmm. Now, what was the human word for that again? Trape? Stripe? Oh, trapped, right. They say you're trapped. Gods. We know, damn it. Gods, where did they all come from? Wow. Well, see, when a mummy zombie and a daddy zombie love each other very much... <laughs> Perhaps I should save the Risen the trouble and silence you myself. Aww. Hey, wait, I, I want to join your cause. I mean, I, I can help you. I know magic. What do you say? Birds of a feather and all that? What? Those ropes. A pledging dark mage. Why would you help us? <laughs> oh, don't let all the joking around fool you. I got kind of a thing for killing. Most funny people do, you know. Two things must be linked somehow. Ever talk to a jester when he's off duty? Those guys are some sick dastards. <laughs> oh, the ravens also said to keep an eye on those fortresses. If you're nearby, when more monsters emerge, it could cause quite a stir. Pun game. Way too, way too overblown. But hey, we have a new character. His name is Henry. What's up, Henry? I had no idea what his voice was going to be, then that just came out. So there you go. Uh, of course, Dark Mages. One of my favorite things about this series is they let you be the enemy sometimes. Uh, and I think the most apparent example is um, with uh, Queen Nefertiti, whatever the fuck her real name is, uh, Nephany in Path of Radiance. It's like, oh my god, I get to be a soldier unit, which is awesome. Uh, and kind of, you know, it's not that often that you get the Dark Mage in the series, but I like the Dark Mage. Um, they're very cool. Um, I guess Tharja technically was one as well, and she was an enemy that had to join us, so. Uh, in any case, we have Henry, who is cool, and let's try him out. Let's, uh... I was going to pair him with with Sumia and see if, if that worked, because that seemed like a good thing to do. Let's throw Sumia over in this direction. She can do 16 times 2 silver lances, and the wind is 10. How about we throw Sumia over there? Um, first of all, though, we're going to get a, uh, a some spells. We've got Ruin, and we've got Fire. Probably best to just be safe and go with Fire here. So let's do that. Good stuff. Elfire, should I say? Not normal fire. This this ain't no normal fire going on here. Uh, okay, so yeah, these these units don't really come close to us. Vike is someone who they're going to be in the range of. You can deal with them, I think. So um, let's see here. Okay, yeah, that guy's pretty far away. I'm pretty decently spaced here to kind of do what I like. Um, so I'm going to go here, and I'm going to uh, yeah. Let's. I mean, it's probably easier to just to kill him with a steel lance. We'll save the wind. It's best to just not take any damage. Beautiful. Nice takedown by Simia. And, um... He's level 12, so we probably should be using Henry a decent amount on this map to get him bumped up a bit to get into line with our other units. Probably be quite helpful. Okay, so we need to make sure that the, uh... The archer is not in range of any of our flying units. Get Lissa out of the way. I think probably a good plan would be to stick... Hmm, he's a good retaliator. I guess Gaius with his longbow now would be a good retaliator. Let's uh, let's uh, start pairing people up. Um, Gaius, uh, how about you go down? See, this is a thing. This is trouble. I don't want to get in the way of too many. Okay, they can't get there. Okay, and then that's the silver bow guy. Uh, how about these guys? Okay. Gaius can actually go there and find and item, glass bow, equip, and we're good to go there. Now, Viking Cordelia is a thing that I want to be jamming on, so I'm going to get those guys together. Good stuff. Uh, MZ Krom, basically murderers in their own right. Um, and Donald Tharja can go stand next to each other. Pan Lonky. Alright, we've got all the couples. We're all coupled up. It's all a nice, nice place to be in. Having a good time. Let's see what Vike's made of. Definitely hits hard, but you know... 
all about that speed. That it's the thing that makes me drop off axe users early on in Fire Emblem playthroughs is the lack of speed and the inability to double. Is uh, oh, that's why he has a goddamn longbow. So he has a little bit of the upper hand here. Not necessarily because I mean it's not really going to do any damage if, even if it hits. Same thing with Tharja. But okay, that's not too bad. So they're not really rushing me as much as I expected them to. So first things first, uh, the Elfire is probably a good thing to finish. Um, let's finish this guy with Henry. And I'm telling you what, this not very memorable map is this one, is it? I saw it first time and I'm like, hmm, don't really remember this map at all or anything to do with it. So I guess that's something that you can take away. <laughs> it's like, hmm, don't know if this map is particularly significant. But hey, guys using a bow, that's pretty significant. Sweet. I feel like I never gave him one when I first played through this game. It's one of those things I generally do is like, I just forget to even go there in a lot of situations. Um, mainly because it doesn't really make a lot of sense uh, when you have to grind up this whole whole extra layer. Um, you yeah, know, there are times when it does, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so we've got the Elwind, which isn't doing enough. Thunder's not doing enough. I'm not doubling anything here. I could superior jolt to get a kill. Let's go for it. It is a lower percent hit rate, but let's give it a try and it works out. All right. Don in those robes. Doing well. Um, okay, Donald, how about you throw yourself into the fray here? He's got a glass sword as well. Now, just, here's the question. Does Donald have the uh, ability I want yet? Um, yes, he does have arms thrift. And his luck is currently 30, so we have a 60% chance to not use this glass sword. So let's see if this works out. This is hilarious. I've been using this glass sword in my original playthrough forever and ever. And it just never breaks because of Donald's ridiculous luck and his uh, arms thrift ability. So we can take a look after the fight and it, it has expended a use so that's not normal but you know it happens Donald can't be perfect all the time Vike however oh he can be I was gonna say Vike is the real perfect man and he just he just proves his point by going for that beautiful crit how delicious big fan of that okay so we need to watch out for this longbow dude probably best if uh, I guess Sumia has to handle it really um, because, gods, no one else is going to be able to get close. Uh, 14 times is not going to do it. None of these, but we're going to have to pull out the silver lance. We're going to have to go with the big guns. Glad I gave her this, because otherwise we'd be in a sticky spot. Oh, there we go. Crack the whip of the crit. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Great stuff, Samia. Get me out of the sticky situations. That's what we like to see. And fucking, thank God I'm out of that guy's range. Because he has a silver bow, and uh, no one wants to be in his way. Because that seems like a bad thing to me. Okay, so the swords guy can get us. Uh, let's see, Pan, Longku. Eh, I'll get Tharja to kill this guy. So you know what? No, I'm going to get Henry to kill him next turn. But that's the thing, is I need to leave someone open for Henry to actually get a kill against. So. Oh, he's going off to... Why? I guess they, um, they home in on the leader of the pack, you know them well, they're finally here to jolt your tail. Makes sense, maybe? But like, dude, I have a level 12 Henry just sitting there, why would you go after my level 3 Grandmaster? <laughs> like, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Don't know how the AI is programmed into this game, but, you know, it's a little weird. A little weird. Okay, so here comes the bow guy that we were waiting for. He's gonna be 15, which is heavy if he even hits, though. And of course, now we're jumping in for the protection. Thank you. Oh, the glass bow is gone now. That's a shame. Okay, so finally they're starting to move down the center. This person has a silver axe we could be using very well against a good buddy old pal. Um, or with our good buddy old pal, Vike, if we need to. Oh, we're a little bit of a sticky situation. It's not too terrible. Um, I think we just need to go down the valley a little bit. Uh, I don't want Sumia to go up here because she, then she'll be at the mercy of the Silverbow guy. So I'm going to bring her back, uh, bring her down. 
Um, we're gonna put someone into this axe guy's range. I think probably best if it be Vike. Uh, he can wait there. Let's see if we need any healing. Significant healing, not really. I mean, just normal heal on Sumia will be fine. Although I shouldn't really need to do that because she has a uh, relief, doesn't she? Yeah, but that uh, I need to be three spaces away, which I am currently not. So, uh, NBZ maybe looking like needs a little bit, and um, I'm lacking on the bow front. Let's go see if we can. Uh, no, I don't want to transfer. There's no convoy going on. Wait, Krom should be the one with convoy, isn't he? I always forget that in this game. I keep going to MBZ for the convoy, but it's not. It's Krom. No, I don't really have a, a good thing. We have fucking Nidhog. God damn it. The fucking Namie's bow. The best bow in Sacred Stones. Um, let's, uh, let's go down. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just going to retreat a little bit. Not that we need to. I just like being a little bit, a bit safer. Don't want to be super dangerous going on. Uh, there's really... It's not necessary, so... Best safe rather than sorry. Alright. We're good. So, Vike, you can take on this axe, dude. A little bit of a hit, but nothing a little patching up can't fix. Oh, boy. Well, okay. Well, they've given us a little bit of a challenge here. Pairing us off with... Um, some of these guys. I'm going to soften up this guy with Sumia. Leave him uh, for the kill with Henry. Give that a nice opportunity and then I'll stand next to her so I get the bonus. Um, even though we are going close range, it's a 97% hit chance. And look at that! Henry proc and the crit. Like a maestro. Like a true maestro. Uh, okay. Yeah, Steel Sword. Uh, we probably should switch to Naoi. Give her a bit of uh, the limelight. Let's um, go over here, switch, and attack. Got the Dragonstone. Turn into... What, what even does she go into there? That's a question I have. She turns into a flower. I, I, you know what it is? It might be the whole caterpillar to butterfly thing. You know? Where you have this scenario where you turn into a fucking dragon. But what if being a dragon is all about not just being the dragon, but the evolution to the dragon, right? So Naoi on her own, she's just a little caterpillar. But Naoi, in the presence of the Dragonstone, she floss flossoms? Yeah, she flossoms. She flossoms her wings. That's exactly what she does. Oh, Donald, you're a little bit too far. However... Hmm... Not quite enough for Tharja either. That's a little bit of a shame. Okay, so I want to pull her back here. I'm going to get Donald to go down. And, uh... See, Krom could use a bit of a... bit of a falcon action. Why not? Throw him into the fray. Oh, Donny boy! Donny boy! Oh, Donny boy! Helping me out. Push me over the, the bridge. Really? You're Chrome, you ha you nailed it. Well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> God damn it. Is that the first time in the series that characters have commented on their level ups? Because uh, I'm not sure I've seen that before in other games. I think it's a neat thing. It's a neat little idea. Okay, so first things first, we need to deal with this axe has. Axe has? Axe hole? I was trying to say axe hole. Holy shit, Erica's blade 19 times 4. What the fuck? Why am I doing times 4? That's crazy. Uh, I think we're just going to stick to killing edge here, quite honestly. Don't really need to do anything crazier. And neither being correct. I guess 29% isn't the best in the world. We're up to level A with long coup. And we get the silver axe. Wonderful stuff. Now, I don't think Vike is quite leveled up enough. He's at a C. So, no, he's not quite leveled up, up enough for that. But what he can do is throw a hand axe through the air sometimes. Um, and it's not quite enough. Even with the next turn, I'm not going to be able to kill him. Unless I get a strength boost. Yes, I do. It's probably next turn I can do that. But you know what? We're going to dive in. Get Henry to do a bit of this. Oh, actually, you know what? Here's what we'll do. Um, the Sumia here, 12 times 2. I'm going to go 10 times 2 to boost her wind. 
and get her the wind going on. Vike, oh no, Vike's okay. This is the problem with Awakening. You stand next to anyone and they just want to be your best friend. <laughs> Sumia's like, no, Vike, leave me alone. Vike's like, hey, what's up, Sumia? How you doing? Vike, and Sumia's like, fucking Vike, I hate you. You're a rude asshole. No one likes you. You have stupid blonde hair. And he's like, no, I'm just, I'm going to help you out. She's like, no, fucking trying to give Henry a go. He's this little kid. He's only 13 years old. Look at him. Just let him have a fucking go for once. But no, Vike just wants to come in and steal all the glory. Of course he does. Selfish is what I call it. Very selfish. Okay. Come at me, son. See if you can try and take me down. No chance. I got wind spells for days. Well, Vike, now, now at a point in time when I would like you to maybe come in and help some, yeah? What are you going to do? Just going to stand there? Tell you what. This is why no one likes you. Why no one's your friend? I guess it was probably a good idea for me to stand on these two forts because we only got one risen being spawned. Well, alternatively, probably a probably a bad thing actually because um, because why? Why would it be a bad thing? Because uh, then I get extra experience. That's why it's a bad thing. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go eight times two and get the pan boost. And then well, uh, I'm not sure about this because dude, this this guy is, has some beef. Beefcakeness to him. Pretty beefcake. He's 26 HP still. So even if Henry comes in here, he's really not doing anything and he's going to get murdered. So probably a job for Donald, I say. Um, and with a bronze sword, he can do a nice bang up job. So I'm going to throw Donald into the fray. Slide in. Clean things up. Very useful. I, I love the fact that Donald. Despite the fact that he is slowly becoming this badass, throughout his entire career as a Fire Emblem character, he always has a dumb fucking pot on his head. No matter what, no matter what class he is, no matter what anything, he still has a dumb fucking pot on his head. At least I'm pretty sure he always has a pot on his head. Please, uh, please correct me if that is in, if that is not true, um, because I would, I, I think it needs to be true to be honest. All right, let's uh, waste this last iron axe. Usage. Yeah, I rule. It's always a good way to do it. If you have one use left and you can kill them in one hit, burn it. Burn it to the ground. That's what I say. Uh, okay. Yeah, not really in the best place. I can't put Donald on that that slab just yet. Okay, we'll uh bring Henry back. And we'll wait. Alright, Axeman, what you got for me? Huh? Five? Yeah, piss off, pal. Piss off, pal! I ain't taking that shit. It's a nice level up, and we're up to 20 with now, I believe now. Sweet! Not looking too bad. God, they keep just throwing reinforcements at me, don't they? They just never want this to end. Uh, okay, so best thing best would be winding it. Hopefully Pan doesn't jump in. Again, it's be annoying. But, okay, so Sumia and Pan don't get along, clearly. This is what we can indicate from this. Sumia and Pan have a bad working relationship. Don't hang out ever. Really awkward between them, very, very tension, tension driven. Um, okay, so let's start crawling our way up these two sides. How am I going to want to split the party? Yeah, there's not really much dangerous going on down there, to be honest. Um, we only have one healer to divide our attention. It would be really nice if I could heal with NBZ or even with Tharja, but Tharja, being a sorcerer, doesn't actually have any access to that stuff. Which is somewhat disappointing, considering she's an upgraded magic unit, but... It doesn't always uh, become the case, so... How about we take... Long Coon Pan this way. With Henry and Sumia, uh, Donald and Tharja, and then Lissa. Lissa can go this way with everyone else. With all of our other friends. Uh, and Krom and NBZ. Let's pair them up. You know what? Let's just do it. Okay. 